Hello everyone. So in my recent job search, I have been interviewed at many companies and today we'll be solving a question which was asked in two of the interviews by two different companies. One is a flex car and the other is better half. So the question is, so we need to create a counter and we need to have three buttons, play button, pause button and reset button and with the respective functionality when we when we play it should the counter should increase when we pause the counter should pause when we reset the counter should reset to zero so let's go ahead and you know solve this particular uh, problem here is my react compiler let's start building this particular counter so uh, let me first create a state right state counter state set counter and I'll be using a state variable counter and this counter by default I'm giving a value as zero right so now I'll be showing this particular counter as zero now here I'll be creating three buttons right let me create three buttons button one with play button 2 with pause button 3 with reset so now while we press on this particular play button the counter should increase and while pressing on this pause it should pause and reset should set the counter to zero so let's let's have three different you know methods or you know on clicks for this particular button so on on click for this particular play and will play and similarly i'll be having a pause for reset as well right while i press on play this uh, handle play button will be called and it should it should ideally increase the counter so now for for modularity what i am going to do is i'm going to create a hook and within this hook right within this hook i'll handle all of this counter handle play handle pause and handle reset and if you observe in some companies the interviewer expects you to create a hook and handle these particular functionality as well so in FlexCar, the interviewer expected me to create a custom hook and he, he asked me to uh, create this particular functionality. So let me let me handle all of this functionality in a hook and we do it for modularity basically. So um, counter hook. This is the hook let's say um, I'll be creating here. Let me create this hook react from react and constant this hook now i need to export this default this counter hook now we need to import this as well here import counter hook from from okay so let me put this inside this right now i'll be able to import it here and we need to return this particular handle play handle pause and handle reset from that particular hook and as well we need to return this counter as well let's say from the hook itself so let me remove it from here and let me import these from the hook itself and they'll play and they'll pause and and they'll reset right and we'll be doing this particular functionality from the hook itself i'll be creating this so now i need to return return these values that i'm accessing from this place right let me return this so before returning we need to kind of you know do this 
manipulation, counter manipulation as well. For the counter, I'm creating a local state counter set set counter use state click in this zero as usual here i'll be i'll be setting right as as usual like this now here i'll be declaring these methods as well right and similarly handle pause pause handle reset and we need to like based on the time let's say after one second the counter should increase for that functionality we need to have set interval with one second interval we will be kind of increasing the counter so to have the particular functionality we will be kind of putting this in use effect because we want to run this particular you know set interval hook one time and we call this and uh, you know while we while we pause it should execute and while we reset it should execute so we are putting this particular functionality in a hook right and so in this hook we have a dependency array as empty and within this i'll be I'll be creating a timer so set interval within this interval I'll be creating one second and we need to increase the counter here within this interval I mean it's good to update based on the previous value and um, while while unmounting my component we need to kind of clear the timer as well so here I'm clearing the timer clear interval mm, here i'll be giving timer id for clearing this particular interval now as per the error we need to import this use effect and so here what happens is our counter increases while we press on play then only we want our counter to increase so in that case I'll kind of in normal times it shouldn't call this particular uh, functionality. So I'll be creating a state is running. So let's say in the initial stages I'll be giving false. And while the user presses on the play, it will ideally come to this method. After coming to this method, I'll be setting it to true. Right? I'll be setting it to true once it is true in that case i want to run this whole of this particular code right let me put this particular condition behind is running flag if it is running if it is running then only we need to execute this particular call and here let's say this timer won't be available here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to declare this outside and and i'll be clearing it based on its availability okay if it is running then i would kind of you know run this particular set interval and increase the counter so let's see if i press right i need to i need to also you know handle this particular handle play as well so once i click on this particular button handle play it should ideally ideally come to this particular hook right it should ideally come to this particular hook and it should update properly so here yeah so what exactly is happening means when i press it is running this particular snippet but then my use effect is not running again as we have an empty dependency array we want this particular use effect to run if there is any change in the is running status. So now let's, uh, you know, let's do this. Here, if you see, let me reload this. Now it is zero. When I press on this play, in that case, it would start. Now, 
I need to pause this particular you know counter when I click on this particular pause button so how do I pause means when I click on this pause button here it will call this use effect and now here I need to set this particular is running to false in that case it would be it would be stopping this particular timer as it is so if I click on this pause if you observe it got paused here on this 34 itself now I need to reset uh, you know my state as well reset if I click on reset it should again set to zero how I can do that means right I would say this running to false right the similar way running to false and then I'll set the counter to zero in this case it would be it would be reset to zero when I click it is reset to zero so this is how we can actually build our counter with the buttons three buttons with their respective functionalities this question was asked in uh, the flux car interview as well as a better half interview and um, here if you observe the modifications instead of two state variables here we can put this particular state variable in a ref and we can handle the same uh, and this this is the best way to you know segregate uh, the code as well this modularity will help if we wanted to build a few more functionalities on top of this particular question and yeah so i have created a blog on this as well from rowdy coders let me let me show the blog hmm. so here is this particular dynamic counter i have given the proper um, code as well uh, and the videos uh, is available there please feel free to refer these uh, if you have any queries and feel free to comment out and if you like the content please do subscribe to this channel